Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to my shop. Well, I haven't done one of these vlog videos in quite a long time because in all honesty, they don't really do so well on my channel. So, I kind of thought, I'm going to do less of these and maybe just save them for when I've got a lot of things that I can put in the one video instead of kind of making meaningless 10 minute vlog videos to kind of stretch out topics. So, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, you might hear my voice. I'm just kind of getting over what the doctor called flu-like symptoms, uh, even though I uh, did not test positive for the flu. I sure as hell felt like it. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so uh, there's a couple things I want to talk in this video about. If you've been following my Instagram or following me on Facebook, you might have seen where my Old Harbor Freight Laid died on me, right in the middle of a big project, actually. Um, in all honesty, the lathe probably didn't owe me anything. I got it for a really good price when I bought it. And, uh, and I bought it brand new, but I, I put a lot of hours, a lot of hard hours on that lathe. I probably put on it a lot more than what the average buyer of that lathe would put on that lathe. <clears throat> a lot of hard hours, I should say, because I was usually pressing the limits of the swing. They say that the, uh, the swing of the lathe is about 11, 10, 11 inches over the bed. Well, the truth is, is if the banjo is not in the way, you can get almost a full 12 inch swing. So typically when I was doing larger bowls, I was doing bowls up to that size where they were just barely touching the bed before roughing them out. So anyways, uh, I want to take a minute and just show you the new lathe, what I got. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on that eventually going into some more in-depth about the new lathe, but I want to at least show you what I got. So I'll show you here in just a second. So here's my new lathe. It's a Grizzly G0766. Um, I chose this one because I have a much wider swing. It's a 22 inch swing now, so that means I can do technically do a piece up to 22 inches in diameter which is great because I am wanting to do bigger bowls and bigger bigger items that I couldn't previously do. Uh, it's a the motor is a uh, three horsepower that normally uses three phase. Um, it came with a VFD and I've got single phase 220 power ran to the VFD so I'm able to actually run the uh, lathe on the um, on the single phase 220. I'll fire it up real quick here. It's nice and smooth. Very powerful. Very quiet. It's got the uh, the digital tachometer here to tell me the speed. And um, pretty sure it's going to last me probably the rest of my lifetime. At least I hope so. Anyways, I'm going to do another video on this uh, in the near future. Just kind of talking about it. All the things, all the various features and why I chose it over others. And, uh, and if I come up with anything I don't like about it, I'll be sure to, to talk about that as well. So, anyways, that's the lathe. Okay, stickers. Um, since I haven't done a vlog video in quite a while, I haven't talked about stickers in a long while. Um, people have been sending me stickers over the last uh, six, seven months probably. And they're probably thinking, geez, Jason, you didn't even bother to mention me in a video. And that's not true. I was just kind of collecting them up. Um, a good bit of these I also picked up at Woodworking in America last year, which I never did actually did a follow-up video on WIA, mostly because I kind of decided to go at the last minute and didn't really have a whole lot of preparation. But anyways, I just want to show off all the stickers that I did get and uh, make sure everyone gets uh, you know uh, mentioned. Uh, first, just in no particular order here, I've got uh, Matt Cremona's got his stickers out now. So I got the Matt Cremona in, in what's been called the flat mat. So I got that. Um, Dan Ng Wood sent me a sticker. Awesome Wood Things from Ma Matt Haas. Uh, Mike Fulton's got new stickers now. Uh, the MF Wood Shop. Frank Howarth. Frank had stickers for the first time at WIA and I was really glad to get one of those from him. Um, Steve has his uh, new Woodwork from Your Moral stickers. At least I think they were new. He was giving those out at WIA. Uh, Simple Design of Ocala. That's uh, Lainey Shaughnessy. Uh, I make wood things. I apologize. Whoever sent this to me, I cannot find the envelope, so I don't know who exactly sent that to me. So, And I will mention now a few of these. A few of these, I, I honestly don't know who sent them to me because they kind of got jumbled into a pile and I lost some of the envelopes, so I apologize for that. Um, Drew Short, uh, this is a sticker he had at WIA I got from him. Uh, Spring Steam Woodworking. Uh, my buddy Sean. Uh, Sean Stone, Sean St Stone and Stone, <laughs> Stone and Sons Workshop. So thank you, Sean. 
Uh, this this one is Wood Mark, Mark Christopher, up in the northern Canada. Uh, thanks, Mark. Uh, Modern Woodworkers Association. I forget all the guys are involved with that group, but um, they were giving these stickers out. Uh, Sponge and Works. Wood by Kyle Toth. Thanks, Kyle. It was nice to meet Kyle WIA. Uh, I got a sticker from Braxton at WIA. He had the special sticker man that says I met Braxton at WIA and all I got was this lousy sticker. But he's a good friend, so it's not a lousy friendship. Uh, Geek Smithing from Wes Swain. Wes is a really great guy, really smart guy. Really enjoy following a lot of the stuff that he's doing here lately. Uh, the Video Woodworkers booth had their own sticker, which was kind of cool. I meant to grab a couple of these. I only, only managed to get the one, but that's okay. Uh, Doug at Retro Weld sent me a couple different stickers. It was uh, nice to hear from him. He sent me a really nice note as well. Oh, several, several of these had some very nice notes with them. I really appreciate that. Uh, Ty sent me a Mono Loco workshop. I think he sent me actually a couple different ones. Uh, Tab Left Workshop, uh, Andy Berkey, his sticker there, uh, Brian Grello from Garage Woodworks, thanks Brian, Black Widow Woodworks, Robert Harold, First Cut Woodworking, and My Woodworking World. This was one that I hadn't heard of. Thank you for sending me a sticker. I appreciate that. And lastly, uh, not but not least, I, I wanted to um, show uh, Chris Kirchner's sticker, Adventures in DIY. Chris really wrote me a really, really nice uh, note, very, very personalized note to me. Um, uh, talked a little bit about NASA and, and some other things. He just had some really nice things to say. And I really wanted to tell Chris thank you very much for that. That meant a lot to me. So, Anyways, that's the stickers. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to mention is that this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I, along with a whole bunch of other YouTube woodworkers and content creators, will be at the Atlanta Woodworking Show down in Atlanta, Georgia. And so far, it sounds like there's going to be quite a turnout of not only just general uh, attendees, but quite a few uh, fans of the various uh, YouTube woodworking channels. And it sounds like we're going to have a great turnout. I believe they're going to do some kind of gathering one of the nights there. I don't have any details on that yet. But as soon as that is available, I'm sure all of us will be um, tweeting and, and, and Facebooking. And so if you're following any of us, you should see that, should see those details. And I'm sure once something is decided on, I'm sure they'll be mentioning it at the actual Video Woodworkers booth. So anyways, look forward to seeing everyone there. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, and if you like uh, my videos, and you or you just found my channel for the first time, I'd always appreciate you subscribing. I always appreciate any comments about these kinds of videos because uh, the low view count kind of makes me think that they're not that popular. Uh, so comment, let me know, appreciate it. All right, hopefully we'll see you in Atlanta, and uh, we'll see you next time.